we have a Venus flytrap competition. And it is time for the world's biggest flytraps to challenge the leaders. They have been preparing for over nine months now, but will they be able to hit first position to win the drop of blood? And what makes them the biggest flytraps in the world? I first discovered these plants in 2010. And back then, I had no idea that they even existed. Yet, when I started researching about them, I learned that you got different types of Venus flytraps. And just like the top performers in our competition, they are called cultivars. They come in different colors, shapes, and sizes. But what is the one question on a 12 year old's mind? What is the biggest Venus flytrap in the world? Well, back then, there was one cultivar called B52. His traps are dark red and they measure up to two and a quarter inches in length. And this is why he has the reputation of the world's biggest Venus flytrap. Yet, six years later, rumors started to spread about a new giant Venus flytrap. This guy is packing seven inches in total length. And ever since then, he has been B-52's biggest rival as he can claim the title of the world's biggest flytrap. His name is DCXL. Nine months ago, my dreams of owning them finally became true. Along with a whole bunch of other baby fly traps, I got these two. Now, they may not seem that big, but compared to when I first got them and all the other babies that I got at the same time, they have grown a lot and they have grown very quickly. But which one of them is better? The legend B-52 or his long-term rival DCXL? You may be wondering how this competition works. All of our plants are timed from the moment a bug touches a trap until the plant catches or misses it. And today, at the end of the video, we are going to add all of the bonus points to the leaderboard, which comes from the types of bugs these guys catch during the competition. I am not surprised at how quickly this just happened. B-52 is the legend, the most well-known Venus flytrap in the world, and he has just proven that even a nine-month-old baby can and will dominate the competition. These two competitors will send shockwaves to the heart of the fly and wasp army. It all started when the flies found a way into our greenhouse. When they get in there, they walk all over our baby fly traps, which kills them. On top of this, they have also learned how to steal nectar from our fly traps, all while avoiding getting caught. Yet, when they juked sweet little peaches, it was time to declare war. Now, we are currently losing the war. The flies have been escaping our traps more and more over the past few months. And even though we have the world's biggest Venus flytrap, it still isn't enough to protect all the plants in our greenhouse. However, after being attacked by the wasps, Peaches has actually managed to recover and she wants to stay in the competition just as so she can keep on supporting her friend, Red. Let's just hope she can finally get revenge. past few months have been really difficult for Peaches. Not only has she lost a few traps because of her missed catches, but she has also had to recover from this in time for today's event. And honestly, if she keeps missing her catches like this, I don't know how much longer she will be able to stay in the competition. It's all good and well to support your friends, but at what cost? she can literally end up dying if this keeps happening. And what's worse is that these flies are seriously good at escaping from our plants. 
I think she needs to reconsider if she wants to stay in the competition or not. While Peaches has a bit to think about, our next newcomer to the series has only one thing on his mind. Winning. B-52, the world's biggest and most famous Venus flytrap, has put on an incredible display earlier in today's episode. In fact, it was so good, it could be a new record. Although you can't really see that, there's too much glare and I can't fix it, but yeah. Anyway, it is not too surprising that he did so well because he was literally made to perform. Yet, you must never discredit the competition. DC XL was literally bred for this. He was created to grow bigger than B-52 and take the crown as the world's biggest Venus flytrap. And what better way to do it than by beating him at his own game. However, he still has the current number one cross-tooth to beat, who also holds the record for the quickest catch in the competition, and let's not forget about the ruthless assassin spider or the gentle giant, Brad Giant, who are both much bigger than our babies DCXL and B52. Yet something tells me that these two aren't too worried about the competition. They only want to outdo each other. Thirteen years. That's all it took for me to finally own these two gladiators. Six years. That's how long it took for DCXL to be bred. Nine months. That's what it took for this baby to grow big enough to compete and shatter the hopes and dreams of all the other competitors in the series. And less than four seconds to dismantle any hopes that B-52 had of claiming that record. If you had any idea as to what was happening in this competition, think again. DCXL is not here to play games. Yet I can't help but wonder how the current number one, Crosstooth, will react to this. I've actually got him here, Crosstooth. He is so damn spoilt and full of himself that just because he is leading the competition, he has gone and cloned himself again. He is the second smallest flytrap in the competition, but that hasn't stopped him from winning and setting records, which you can't see because of the glare and I can't fix it guys, I'm sorry. Honestly, it's a huge surprise as we weren't sure if he'd be able to perform, let alone catch anything with those huge gaps in his teeth. Yet, this might all change when we update the leaderboard after his next attempt. Let me put this into perspective for you. The winner of this competition will be given the drop of blood, the title as the general of the flytrap army, and will be crowned as the ultimate Venus flytrap. Now I know this all seems very childish, trust me I know, but the general of our army will actually have a very important role of keeping the fly population down. And because they would also be the ultimate Venus flytrap, we will use their flowers to create more babies. All great for an egotistic plant like Crosstooth. However, his next catch has to be as good as our newcomers, otherwise he will fall out of first position. All he needs to do is catch this fly as quick as the others and he'd still have a chance to win this competition. Did you guys see that? Crosstooth was so quick it even took a moment for the fly to realize he got caught. 
See? We have been so lucky in today's episode. We have had the best catches of the competition this far, and I can't imagine how the leaderboard is going to look. I know as much as you do about this. Nothing. So, let's figure it out. There are a lot of things happening in this update, so I have a script to help me out. But the most important thing are the bonus points. This is the first time we are adding them on, so this leaderboard is going to get really close. I need, a, I need to get a tissue quick. Oh, I nearly fell. Got the tissue. Let's start with the worst attempt of the day, and that is Peach's miss. You... Why is this echoing? Is this... Yeah, just be very careful because the trap was right there. Is that me? <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's start with the worst attempt of the day, and that is Peach's miss. A missed catch is a 3 minute time penalty, so her average will stay the same. You literally can't get a worse score than this. And now, everyone in the competition above her moves down two positions. That's how good the competitors were today, even after the bonus points. Now, green flowers are worth 2 seconds. So Tiger Teeth goes down to 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Red will move to 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Someone told me I have 5 year old handwriting. And I know my handwriting is bad. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Brad's Giants has the best stack of bonus points because he has a blue fly and a wasp catch. A wasp is worth 10 seconds and a blue fly is worth 6 seconds and so that drops him down, down to 43 seconds, which means he's getting really close to Spider. And now for the most exciting part. With a record matching catch today, at 4 seconds, we have Crosstooth with a new average time of 11 seconds. This is extremely close to our new second spot competitor who got their first catch today at 6 seconds. B52. Remember the bonus points mean he is now at 4 seconds, but this is not the craziest part of today's update. Crosstooth has an average time of 11 seconds. Think about how crazy that is. B52 and DCXL they don't have an average time yet. They might have just been lucky today and their future catches might bring their averages down. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on seeing what will happen to them. And now, at a new record of 2.1833 seconds, DCXL is our top competitor for now. This also means that his time is 0 seconds after adding his bonus points. You literally can't get a better time than this. Now these two competitors should hopefully help us in the war. Thanks to them, we are now tied for the total amount of catches and misses across all of the videos on our channel. Hopefully we can turn this around and stop losing our plants, but until then, I'll see you guys later.